Welcome to meditation. This is our second month in our sixth month of going through the chakra system. We're exploring the six major chakras in the body according to the classical system of yoga. So last month we did the, the root chakra and we're gonna move up. So now we're doing the sacral. Before we get started, I wanna give a big thanks to Dan for helping with the sound today. Thank you, Dan. Whenever you're ready, you can gently close your eyes and feel yourself taking some really beautiful, deep breaths. Feel how your shoulders relax on each exhale. And feel how energy comes into your body on every inhale. Feel how each breath brings you into this moment. Feel your feet on the floor. Feel your feet within your shoes. Feel your legs attached to your feet. Feel your bottom on the chair. Feel your back resting against the chair. And feel your head balanced atop your body. You are here, you are here, you are here. In this exploration of life, there's much to sense, much to experience. Our second chakra is the realm of experience, the realm of the senses, the realm of pleasure and pain. It's very human. So let's begin to get a sense where this chakra is located. So if you can take your hand and just move it to the place about one or two inches below your belly button. And just place your palm there. In Sanskrit, this is known as Shwadisthana. In the West, we've come to know it as the sacral. But no matter what you call it, it's a very real, energetic spot that gives and receives information. So here we begin to tune into this chakra and as we tune in, we balance and we heal and we open. So you can continue placing your palm on this area, or if you feel like you have a good sense of where this is, you can place your hand back down on your lap. And I invite you in this moment to simply breathe into this area. So visualize that the breath is being drawn in through your nose and it's traveling down to the sacral. Swadishtana. And as the breath collects there on the inhale, see it swirling around, see it moving. And then on the exhale, 
you can visualize that you're breathing out through this area. So you breathe in through the nose, and then when you breathe out, you breathe out through the Shwadhisthana. And with each exhale, feel your body relax a bit more. With each exhale, feel yourself come into this space a bit more. Maybe you feel some tingling or vibration or different sensations in this area. Or maybe you feel not much, which is okay too. See if you can breathe in a way where when you inhale, this whole area rises up. And then as you exhale, maybe just gently drawing it in. So in the classical system of yoga, the color associated with this area is a dark, dark blue, a deep blue. And it represents that time before dawn when the sun has not yet arisen, but you can tell that the day is coming. In this area, we tend to hold many hurts, many pains. In this area, we can get a bit stuck. This is the seat of addictions. This is the seat of clinging to relationships, to situations clinging, holding on, gripping. So now this morning, as we bring our beautiful breath, our healing breath, our attention to this area, we visualize a dark, deep blue encircling this area. And we remind ourselves that all addictions can be broken, all clinging, all tension, all obsessions with anything can be healed. We can be free. For the dawn is coming. It's on its way. There's a sound associated with this chakra. And as we tune into this sound, we help ourselves heal. So this sound is vam. Um, let's go ahead and chant this softly to ourselves for a little while. And we'll do it at our own pace. So you can feel free to chant along with me or just whisper it to yourself or even just mentally chant it silently to yourself. But let's tune into the sound. Vam. 
As we continue to chant, you can visualize that any bondage, any chains attached to things, places, people, outcomes, anything that's holding you down, anything that's making you feel fear, you can visualize that this sound is breaking apart those clingy, sticky cords, and it's just dissolving into the light. Va In your mind's eye, it might feel good to imagine that a brilliant white light is descending down into your head, the top of your head, traveling down your face, your neck, your chest, all the way down, all the way down to the sacral. And it's ending there. And it's moving, it's swirling, it's cleansing, it's healing. It's moving in a clockwise direction. It's clearing away all the old making way for the new, making way for creative relationships, making way for the ability to cle clearly see what actions serve us and which ones are no longer needed. this spinning vortex of light. It's moving. The word chakra literally means wheel. And wheels move. You are not stagnant. You change. You grow, you awaken. So again, I invite you now to take your hand again and place it on this area. And maybe this time you actually take both hands, one on top of the other. Feel this area.
And maybe now it feels good to gently, softly, just rub, massage, caress this area. Feel any tension there, any remaining tension melt away under your gentle hand. Feel your breath moving up and down. If any strong emotions come, let them come. Or if you feel a sense of peace, bask in that peace. Bask in that sense of knowing, knowing yourself. The Shwadhisthana Chakra is about knowing yourself. Knowing that every action you take, every thought you think, has a divine purpose. And even though we let go of things at certain points, even though we release th certain things, it is not a mistake and it is not an accident that those things came into your life. They were there for a divine purpose. So no need to feel sad about those coming, simply allow them to depart with gratitude, with reverence. They were your teacher. And so now I invite you to take a vow for yourself, you can repeat this out loud, you can whisper it, or you can silently repeat after me if it feels good for you. I promise to myself. that I will tune in to what feels truly good for myself. I promise that I will love myself. And I promise that I will listen. Thank you. We may at this point place our hands down on our laps or by our sides. And we now just widen our awareness to take in the whole physical body. Noticing our hands, our feet, our head, our chest, our breath. And then widening out a bit more to include focus, notice on the sound. And then widening out our vision to bring into our awareness the rooms outside this room, the parking lot, the trees.
feeling our connection to all that makes this life sweet. Taking a few more deep inhales and exhales. And as you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. And I invite you to give a little bow of gratitude to yourself for taking this time for yourself. Namaste.